What's up Pinky Boy here and today I have some Icarus gameplay tips and tricks for you. In this video, we will be looking at a new way to level up fast in Icarus version 1.0 since a few changes to the game have nerfed a few of the old tricks. But do not worry, I've got you covered. You should be able to reach level 30 in about 4 hours with what I'm going to show you, which is still pretty fast. If at any point you find this video entertaining and useful, please take a few seconds to hit like and comment below. And if you want to join the community, you can join our Discord or watch us on Twitch. All the links are in the description and pinned comment. Before we start, I'm not gonna lie, this leveling strategy is kind of a grind, but you will be moving around and fighting enemies, so it's still pretty engaging. Now let's take a look at the first step, level 0 to 5. Join a new prospect and choose the first mission. As soon as you land, get out of your pod and start gathering shrubs and stones. Now the key to this whole thing is to always be doing something. You should always be pressing F to pick up shrubs. As soon as you can, craft your pickaxe and axe. Throughout this whole process, remember to keep an eye on your hunger, thirst and oxygen levels and pick up berries, mine oxide and go have a drink whenever required. Once you have your axe, start felling trees. Do not chop the logs, only fell the trees. And remember, you are always picking up shrubs wherever you go. So pick up shrubs and fell trees until you reach level 1. At level 1, research the bow, stone arrow and stone knife blueprints. Craft the bow and stone knife as soon as you can and craft around 20 stone arrows. Start making your way south of the spawn zone. You want to make your way to this arctic biome entrance, but do not enter right away as you might encounter packs of snow wolves. And remember, as you move, you are always picking up shrubs and felling trees. If you do see a wolf, you can go for it, but the goal until level 5 is pretty much to fell trees. Whenever your inventory gets full, craft as many bows as you can and destroy them after to regain some mats. Do this until you reach level 2. At level 2, research the bandage, campfire and bedroll blueprint. Now when you're crafting bows, also craft bandages with the extra fiber and destroy them afterwards. Keep on picking up shrubs, felling trees, hunting wolves and crafting bows and bandages until you reach level 5. Now how fast this goes really depends on how many wolves you encounter, but it should take you around 15 minutes. Now that you are level 5, let's see how to get from level 5 to 10. Now depending on how much you played the game and how confident you feel about defeating wolf packs, you can use the level 10 and above strategy to get from level 5 to 10. But if you are just starting off, I will show you a safe and easy way to get from level 5 to 10. So once you reach level 5, research the bone knife, bone sickle and bone arrow blueprint. Craft the bone knife, bone sickle and around 20 bone arrows as soon as you can. From now on, use the sickle to collect fibers from the shrubs. Do not hand pick them. Also, you will no longer fail trees. All you do from level 5 to 10 is gather fibers from shrubs with the sickle and craft destroy bandages. And as always, keep an eye out for wolves and hunt skin them when you see them. A good tip for gathering fiber and crafting bandages is to sickle the shrubs until you are out of stamina and then craft the bandages and destroy your last batch of bandages. This will allow your stamina to regen. Also, do not forget to handpick berries, mine oxide nodes as needed and get water when needed. And remember, you are always gathering fiber as you move around. That is the key. Now you do this until you get to level 10, how long this takes again depends on how many wolves you encounter, but it should take around 45 minutes to go from level 5 to 10. Now that we are level 10, let's see how we get to level 30. Make your way to this arctic biome entrance, we will be building a little base of operations behind this rock formation. You will need to research a few blueprints, you will need the wood pillar, wood wall, wood floor, workbench, oxide disolver, water skin, oxygen bladder and longbow. Craft the longbow as soon as possible. For your base you can build it however you want, for me I did a 2x1 to begin with and added a third section later on. In your base you will need a campfire, a sleeping bag, a workbench and the oxide disolver. 
As you gather the required mats, pay attention because five snow wolf packs spawn right next to where we are setting up. And spoilers, that's kind of the whole point. When you encounter wolves, make sure to crouch and be in stealth before you shoot them to get a sneak bonus. And be careful as hitting a wolf will alert the whole pack and they will come for you. Pick them off as they come and do not be afraid to use your bone knife against wolves, it is pretty effective. Now once your base is set up, the grind begins. You will be patrolling the snowed area on the map. Now make sure to look at the map, because some of the zone in game won't have snow on it, but it will be shown as snow on the map. You want to patrol the snowy zone of the map. Now before you start patrolling, you will need to research and craft the cloth armor kit. Also, for food, you will get plenty of meat from killing wolves that you will cook in the campfire. For water, you will get ice from the ground where there is snow, stick it in the campfire with a water skin and it will get filled up. For oxygen, there is plenty of oxide and sulfur nodes around to keep your oxide dissolver going. Simply stick the sulfur, oxide ore and the air bladder in the dissolver to fill it up. Now for the patrol path, you will go north inside the arctic biome, kill and skin all the wolves you encounter until you get the out of bound notice. Then go south and patrol the whole snowy part shown on the map. Kill and skin all the wolves you encounter. Also, you can shoot the rabbits, the chamois and the deers you encounter. They are free XP, but do not chase them. If you miss your shot, just let them run, they will come back. Also, do not bother skinning the rabbits or chamois unless you are walking right by them anyways. In the south portion, Fell the trees and pick up the shrub over time as you are patrolling, this will clear up the place and make it easier for you to spot wolves. As you go north and south, craft bone arrows whenever you can, go and drop any extra mats in the workbench. The mats you need to keep are sticks, fibers, leather and bones. You will also need wood and stone for the fire and tool maintenance, but those are easily acquired. When you hit level 15, research the textile bench and the leather armor set and switch to the leather armor set. Now keep on going with the same patrol path and when you start to be full on mats, craft bone arrows and leather armor chest pieces, destroy the chest armor and recraft until you are out of mats and then go back to patrolling. And do this until you reach level 30. Now there is more than 30 levels. But the last building tier is unlocked at level 30, so you can level organically from there, but you can also keep doing this for the remaining levels if you want to, of course. And that is how to get from level 0 to 30 fast. Now keep in mind, this is not the only way of doing it. Use the concept and apply it however works best for you. And if you have any leveling tips or you know a way to make this tip better, let us know in the comment section below. And that is going to be it for how to level fast in Icarus version 1.0. And if you've enjoyed this video and want to see more, please take the time to subscribe, like this video, comment below and share. Do not forget to join us on Discord and Twitch. Again, thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I will see you in the next one.